Hi, my name is Nick Rivera, and I just want to welcome you to Alamaze. If you're here, it's because, you know, you've seen something in Alamaze and you want to try it out, and we're happy to have you uh, in-game. I'm known as Trillian, and I'm in charge of reaching out uh, to people to create uh, a larger player base. We're excited to have you uh, because we have this fantastic game. It's been around for a long time, and we've had some very dedicated players over the years, and, uh, you know... We just want to share this with, with more people and, and to create a, an even larger community than we have now. Now, I just want to let you know, though, before we go through getting you registered and everything, there's a couple things that I'd like to go over to be sure that you understand exactly what Alamaze is and what Alamaze is not. Um, Alamaze is a turn-based strategy game set in high fantasy realm that is played by 12 live players, or up to 12 live players, depending on the type of game. It is not a video game, all right? You're not going to sit there and point and click and move around and follow somebody else's, you know, uh, storyline. This is a story that you're going to create yourself. It's played using a map, and you can see this map right here. This is the map of Alamaze, right here. And it's played using a turn sheet. Now all your information each turn is put on this turn sheet. As you can see, you have all these different individuals that you can give orders to. You have armies, you have the regions, controls of the regions, you have a high council that you can get elected to. And if you get elected to that, you can use that as a way to either uh, grow your particular kingdom or to uh, go after your enemies and you have battle or battle sheets and you have individual armies you have mages that you can give individual orders to so that's how this game is played you have production and everything else so this isn't just some video game if you're looking for a video game uh, something that or an app game that you can play on your phone easily uh, this is probably something you're going to want to play either on your laptop at least uh, a desktop is probably preferred um, however you can do your turns in about 30 minutes you don't have to spend hours doing it but even though you can do your turns in 30 minutes you're going to find yourself really thinking about this game a lot because you're going to be considering like the different things that you can do uh, you know the different kinds of orders you can have uh, Alamaze is a very in-depth game and it's that way just think of it as chess right chess is a a very in or in-depth game too it takes a lot of thought processes right but in this game of chess you're going to be playing on a board that's 10 times larger than a regular game of chess and you're going to be playing against 11 other players who are all playing the same game so it really shows you the complexity and the depth you just can't get that from a video game I've never seen a video game that gives you that kind of depth uh, and that's each game goes for about 40 turns that's about three months all right now depending on unless somebody wins of course, I mean, the whole idea is to control four of these regions that we're able to see. This one here is Navaria. This is a game that I have. Uh, Stormgate, I control two regions currently, right? So you want to be able to control four of these regions to claim victory. What Alamaze, like I said, is not. Uh, it's not a video game. It's not an app game. We do not have in-game purchases you're not going to be sucked for more money uh you, there's no speed ups that are available anything like that so you pay on a uh a game basis a per game basis uh you pay just once a month this is not you know every turn that you pay for uh i think a single game is like 8.95 a month after turn 24 uh the game is no longer you no longer get charged for that game, so that opens up a slot so you can play another game. You can play as many games as you want. There are discounts for, you know, more volume. The more games you play in, um, the more discount you get per game. What we expect, and this is important, um, is first off, chivalry. We expect p 
people to treat each other well on the boards. There's no personal attacks, you know, no personal attacks on people's mothers, no calling people out on the boards themselves. On the battlefield, hey man, it's whatever, you know, um, within the game. You know, in the game, you can even take the chivalrous road and honor and, and all that kind of thing, or you can take the uh, the road of, you know, uh, deceit and that. But just remember, too, though, you're going to be playing some of these players again. So, you know, the reputation you get is how you're going to get rid, you know, is how you're going to, how they're going to come back at you later on. Um, the other thing that we're looking for in the players is that they give it at least until turn 20. Before they quit. Um, this is a game of live players playing live players. And what we do not want is someone who says, well, I just want to play a turn or two and see if I like it or not. All right? Because when you quit that early in the game, it's very unsettling on the game. This is a game of controlling regions. So the people who are in the regions directly next to you, they benefit. They're able to walk into your region, take control of it, and that gives them an unfair advantage versus the other players who are on the other side of the map who don't have any that's not quitting and you know, so they have to fight it out. So we want players who are willing to play, you know, until at least turn twenty, the first game. If they don't like it after that, then you know, I mean that's fine. That's great. Um but also, the game doesn't get really get good until turn 12 or 13, right? Or if you just have a couple, something that goes wrong and didn't go your way, you know, don't just walk off. I mean, we want people who will, you know, will play the game out, and that makes it better for everybody. Uh, have fun role-playing. You know, in our communications, we use our boards for communications. That's how we do our trades, because you can trade between uh, realms and kingdoms and things of that nature, uh, depending on the game rules. You know, have fun. You know, uh, if you like role playing, role play out your communications. That happens all the time, and we have some of the funniest communications, and some uh, some people who are extremely creative, and it's 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 a blast. It's it's a ton of fun. So, you know, feel free to do that. That's that's always encouraged. Um, the other thing that we ask is that you follow the rules of each particular game that's created. There are many different types of games that we play. You get to choose which kind you want to play in. Some people don't like diplomacy at all. They just want to come in. They want to do their turns and, you know, move on. Okay, so they do their turns and then they get the results and they do their turns and they do the results. They don't want to talk to anybody. And that's perfectly fine. We have games for that too. They're, you know, no diplomacy or silent games. Uh, we have people who like to chat, you know. I mean, one of the, the favorite parts of the game is, is the, the trash talking, you know, the the role playing that comes up. So if you want to be in one of those kind of games, we have those kind of games. Each game before we started, the you know, rules are set for that particular game and you know, we just ask that you then honor the rules of that game. We also have team games, uh confederation games, warlord games or individual games. So there's a lot of different stuff that you you can you can do here. So if you're still here, right? And this sounds like something that you want to do. We just took this a moment to do this video because we want to make sure that we're all on the same page because we want new players, but we want players that are going to actually play. All right. Um, and if you do take the time to play, I think you're going to find yourself very well rewarded because this is going to be more fun than than probably you've had in a long time in any kind of game. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead now. I'm going to walk you through the sign up and registration phases and get you registered on the boards and then uh, there'll be some other short videos to show you how to do the tutorial how to um, start a duel you know a heads up game to, to learn how to, to input orders and everything else and move and then even how to get into your first real game so like I said my name is Strillian I am a uh, player in Alamez I'm owner of this website, abnac.com. I created this to as a part of an outreach for uh, Alamez, uh, but I, I'm not an Alamez player. I'm an enthusiast. I love the game, and I want to share it with people. Okay? So, we'll see you on the battlefields of Alamez. And uh, just follow the next portion of this to see how we get you all set up in the registration.